Good morning. I hope y'all are having a good Monday morning. Uh, we are here today with our Monday morning motivation. We haven't done one of these in a while, so um, it is a good time on Mondays to uh, just to letter a little bit and to tell you all the things coming up at the studio. It's a good kind of just a little check-in checkpoint. So um, really quick, I'm opening something that I want to show you here in just a second. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm doing, um, if you were on this morning, I'd love for you to drop a comment and just say, hey, so that we can see you. Um, we're going to start doing a little bit of lettering in just a second, but um, I do want to tell you just a few things happening. All right. So just a few things happening and then we're going to get to our lettering. So, and then we'll tell you a few more things happening. There's a lot happening at Pizzazz this, uh, this week. All right. So first up, if you are a lettering club member, you should by now have your happy mail. Okay. So this came to everybody already. Um, Hey, Ann and Kate and Pam and Timothy. I'm so glad you are on and Rebecca. Um, so I'm going to really quickly show you what you should have gotten in your happy mail if you are a lettering club member. Um, this also lettering club members tonight, we will go live in the group at seven o'clock. So bring all of this. You should have also gotten an email that told you to bring some washi tape, some paper, some different stuff. So you should have all gotten it. your hundred days of praise and positivity, which is going to be so much fun. We're going to do this a little bit, um, a little bit tonight. You should have gotten all of your super cute uh, scripture cards. Love these so much. They are just a fun, I love this color palette. I just, it's fun and um, bright and cheery. And again, you can use these to put into your mirror, for, you know, like your bathroom mirror or your wherever you see something all the time at your cubicle, at your desk, wherever. Um, we've even seen that some teenagers take these and put them in their lockers. We love that too. So we got all of this. You should have also gotten, let's see, your fun little amen sticker. We have some shirts that look like this right now as well. And then your traceables. So with these traceables, somebody says no sound. No sound. What? Can you hear me? You can hear me? Why does that always happen? Like, okay. All right. <laughs> Every once in a while, like does somebody out there doesn't have sound or something and then it freaks me out. So anyway, um, there's two people saying no sound. So, but Kaylee is listening and you hear sound. Okay. All right. And Stacy says she hears me. So I guess turn it up, uh, <laughs> unmute your phone or something. I don't know. Uh, all right. So here are our two scripture cards not scripture cards. I'm sorry. They're based off our scripture cards, but there are traceables and they are in, um, they're in this card format this time. So if you are a lettering club member, you should have gotten all that. Bring all of this tonight at seven central plus some washi tape. Um, some, if you got some Crayola super tips, that would be great. Or if you've got these pens, you can bring these as well. Um, the Crayolas are going to be fun too, though. All right. So that is, that is our happy mail, whatever letter lettering club members join us tonight for this. Now we've got more stuff to tell you, but I want to get to our lettering really quickly. So I'm going to letter the phrase since this is Monday morning motivation. We're just going to letter something, um, that, that I hope motivates you. Okay. <laughs> and so and it has a little bit of a story to go with it too. So we are going to let her be brave. All right. Because who needs that little reminder sometimes? <laughs> Excuse me. We all need to be a little bit brave sometimes. Sometimes we get into a, a pattern of just doing the same thing, the same thing, and we don't ever stretch ourselves. Um, so we're going to do be brave. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about some, some bravery I see happening that I'm really proud of. So here we go. I'm going to letter just the word brave first. I'm using these pit pens, which by the way, these pit pens are on sale. Um, not, I mean, they're, they're on sale in our uh, shop until 12 today. We have about 30 left. It's the whole bundle we told you all about on Friday. It comes with the pit pens, the scripture cards, the traceables. And if you order by 12 today, we are going to throw in how many extra traceables? Two extra traceables that you can just use for your lettering. Um, and then if we... We might, we might sell out. If we don't sell out, they'll still be on there. You just won't get the two extra um, traceables unless you order it by today. So that's that. So I'm going to be using these pit pens. So for Brave, I'm going to do it one little stroke at a time. So that's going to be our first stroke for our B. So we kind of went up, over, we're at a little bit of that angle. 
And now for the, the second part of the beat, we're going to loop and then we're going to go up into our R2. So it's going to be one stroke that finishes off the B and then goes up into the R. So here's the B, loop, R, and down and up. All right. So that's kind of a little bit of a trick. Not trick, but tricky because it's, a, it's two letters. All right. For the A, there's the first stroke. Second stroke. Now for the V, a lot of times I will just do the V and leave it as is. Um, but if you wanted to connect it to the E, you can do this. Come up and then kind of, I wish that should have been a little more curvy right there. But kind of do a little curve and then go into the E. But a lot of times, like I said, I'll just leave the V and then I pick my pen up and then do the E by itself. Now, I do want to just put a little extra curve right there, maybe a little extra curve right here, um, and I've got my brave on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and thicken those down strokes, and then I'll fill these in. Now, <clears throat> on the subject of bravery, um, I will tell you, this Friday, we are headed, not, well, Friday slash Saturday, we are headed to Honduras. And when I say we, um, you know, we go, we've been going for, I don't know, six, seven years now. Um, and the very first time that I ever went to Honduras with Rice Bowls, so remember Rice Bowls is an organization that we are partnered with. Rice Bowls uh, is partnered with children's homes, um, different orphanages, and they feed, they take over the food budget for those homes. And so years ago, we said, hey, we want to come alongside you and partner with you. And we, we for every person that God brings us that is a student at Pizzazz in the studio or online, we're going to feed a kid um, for a day. And so that is what we've done for years. But we just like to, to, to have relationship with the kids too, not just in the money. The money is great. They need the money. The money buys food. But we also, we are relational people and we want to, we want to know and we want to love and we want to hug and we want to tell them you are chosen and valued. And so we are headed on Saturday again, um, but this time it's a little bit different. We'll be there for a week, but this time we are taking a few members of our lettering club uh, who have never been before. Uh, Christy Hawkins from the Social Easel, her and her family and some of her members from her painting club are going who have never been before. So we are going with a group, a whole group of nobody's ever been there before. <laughs> and I just feel like there is so much bravery in this group. And I know, you know, some of them don't know anybody. Like a lot of, I've only, out of the group going, Christy and one of her daughters is the only person I've ever met face to face in person, other than Johnny, who, who he'll be there. He always is with rice bowls. Um, and so a lot of these ladies that are going, don't know anybody that's going. And that takes an absolute step of, um, of courage and bravery. But when it's in line with, they know that God's called them to do, it kind of, it, it gives you a little bit more comfort that, okay, <laughs> like I know I'm in the center of God's will. Yes, this is scary. Yes, I don't know anybody, um, but I'm going to serve and to love and I'm trusting that it's going to be okay. So, um, so when I, uh, was thinking of what to, to letter this morning. And I just thought of be brave. I thought, you know, there's so many um, going on this trip with us that are, that are just showing that, that bravery. It's a different country. It's different, you know, uh, different sleeping environments, different ways of eating, like all, there's a lot of different things, but they are stretching themselves, And I'm just super, super proud of them. Um, so for brave, I'm going to do, do B in a different font. I'm going to do like this. Notice I came a little bit lower. I didn't hit right there on the crossbar. I came a little bit lower. So um, there is that. Just to tell you a little bit more about our Honduras trip, we are leaving Saturday. I will start the journey on Friday night and we'll be, be there until the next Friday. We're going to be doing all kinds of fun art projects and sports and uh, lots of fun stuff. So y'all be looking for pictures um, from that. All right, so there is my Be Brave with one of my pit pins. And maybe with the blue, I might give it just a bit of a drop shadow, just a little bit right around here. This, you don't really have, this is not like a have to. I think it looked fine without it. Just a little something extra that I wanted to throw in. And then I want to show you a few things that we are doing um, in our kids club and at the studio this week.
All right. There is that. So fun. I hope you, uh, I hope you could pick up a pen and kind of do this with us. Put it somewhere where you can remember it because you might need just a little dose of bravery and something that you are attempting um, today too. Now, let me show you real quick what we're doing in Kids Club or, and in our studio classes. So we're doing folk artists all this month um, in the studio and um, online in our kids club. So this week we have got these fun folk art houses. So um, be looking for those. If you're a kids club member, they are already uploaded in your library. We got two different ones of these, one for the younger and one for the older kids. And then in the studio, we only have a few spots left, but this weekend we have this cute little bunny set um, that you can paint for home decor. Now these are just painted. You get all three. So you can paint it like fun colors like this, or you can do neutral colors like this. Just fun decor. They sit, they have the flat bottom, so they sit up really uh, nicely on a tablescape or something like that. Um, so this is in the studio um, this week. So just to recap, all of the funness happening. This little pack plus your bonus traceables on sale now until um, until 12 o'clock today. $15 for the pins, the, the scripture cards, the traceables and the bonus traceables uh just go to, if you need the link just type in the word link and it should send it to you so this is uh that lettering club meet us tonight at seven o'clock kids club you've already got all this in your library waiting for you studio folk <laughs> go ahead and sign up for this all of those links should be if you just type the word link you should get them all and let me look at my list to make sure I didn't forget anything. I think that's everything. So um, you, we will be back live more before we leave for um, for Honduras this week. But I just, uh, I'm super excited about it. It did take a lot of bravery. It took bravery the first time that we ever went. We didn't know anybody either. We were scared of, um, well, one, like, would we have the money for it? Two, are we going to be safe? When we Googled things, it said, we don't advise Americans to travel here. And we were like, oh, no. <laughs> you know, so um, there was a lot of fear, but there have been so many blessings that have come from our first step of bravery, going by ourselves that first time to now all so many of our family and friends go with us every single summer. We've got two uh, two groups going from Prattville this uh, this summer. Um, and well, I shouldn't say from Prattville. They're from all over the place. <laughs> but there's a big group from Prattville, um, plus this trip um, on Friday and so or Saturday. And so it's just um you never know what your first step of bravery will lead to because it has led to this particular step of bravery years ago with rice bowls and going to Honduras has led to relationships um, and blessings that we just can't even can't even put into words. Really just, um, you know, no matter what happens, if we're able to use our business to impact other lives, like it's a win. So so I just encourage you to be brave in whatever situation you are needing a little bit of bravery in today. So that's it for now. I will, um, I will talk to y'all soon. I'll be back on here soon. I'm sure. All right, y'all. See ya. See ya.